Hey guys, Matt Curry, Rapid Fire. It's your lucky day, you're getting two videos in one day. Or is that your very unlucky day? So let me go. So I've got a couple of messages in. Ballarat 70.3, let me get this extender out. Ballarat 70.3 this weekend, and it's very bloody cold, I'm told. So I've had a couple of people say, what do I do, how do I deal with it? And I'm pretty uh, up to speed on this, very experienced. <laughs> I'm a little guy and I absolutely hate the cold with a passion. It really knocks me around, even the local swimming pool's too cold. So I've got some ideas, but my best tip is do whatever you need to to stay warm. Don't let yourself get cold pre-race, especially. Just your amount of energy churn goes through the roof and your muscle function in particular goes up to shit. Uh, last week at WA 70.3, I walked out on that pier because we had to walk out and swim back to the beach. I walked out, wore my shoes, left them out there. Got a big, thick pair of woolly socks the day before. Wore those um, and... Here's a little something, the wind's ruined it for me. My, uh, these are plastic bags from Coles, the store, as my American wife would call them. They're not even square now because the wind's destroyed them. Lay them out flat. I've got two of them, one inside the other. At Ironman Australia at Port Macquarie, many times I've even used three or four of them. Laid them out flat and I stick that between my tri suit and then another layer on top, which last weekend was a fusion long sleeve aero top. But in many instances, it's just been a skin short sleeve top, which was all I could get from the... And that seems to... Yeah, that was actually... The short sleeve skins I actually found warmer than a long sleeve skins once it was wet. The fusion material wasn't cold and it dries out properly, but the long sleeve skins I found made me colder. So short sleeve skins was fine with these plastic bags shoved between that and the tri suit. And then I had my wetsuit over the top. Swam in it, no problems. I don't overheat in it, unless the water's going to be 26 or so. I think, especially for 70.3, you're not going to overheat. Uh, and then, as I warm up in the race, there's my wife going, I better wave, or I'll be in the dog box. Um, yeah, as I warm up in the race, and particularly as I'm approaching an aid station or the crowd, then I'll rip the bags out at some point and, uh, and discard them into the crowd. If, it, if I'm not going to warm up, then I'll leave them in there the whole time. But really good insulator without the bulk and without the aerodynamic cost of wearing really baggy stuff. You may want to have arm warmers around your wrist that you put on in T1 and pull up as well. Again, maybe wait till you're on the fly or if you can do it quickly as you're, as you're running your bike out to the, the mount line or something. Uh, but again, probably staying warm over speed, I think, is, uh, is most important because once, you, once you're cold, your muscle function goes to, to pot and you know, your body is redistributing blood away from your, your muscles where you need it, back to your organs and stuff. It's just a protective mechanism, again, for my scientific analysis. But I definitely know the cost of being cold. Your, your legs, you get the, what the cyclists call two posts, you know, and they just don't function. Um, and you don't see pro cyclists getting around in one layer of lycra like, like triathletes do, especially when the cyclists are wet. Uh, triathletes are wet first from a swim and then cycling in anything from... You know, I don't know what you're talking here, 6 degrees to 11 degrees. WA last week wasn't as cold as Ballarat probably is going to be. Um, so, yeah, you might want to wear two swim caps as well or neoprene cap with a uh, your swim cap, your race cap over the top. That's what I do too. You know, I just despise the cold. I do what I need to to stay warm. Don't let yourself get cold before the race. Don't get in and warm up if it's going to mean you're going to be cold afterwards. Just build into your swim. Again, something I do, I won't bother to get in the water. I'll just let it come to me and build the pace. But, yeah, hope those ideas uh, help a little bit. Here it is. Oh, one more thing. Um, baby oil or Vaseline. I coat my legs sometimes just with a thin coat of Vaso and my arms. Did that last week too. Uh, it wasn't even cold for a lot of people last week, but for me, I hate it. And I know a lot of you probably do too. So, yeah, just seal the, it seals the skin a little bit. Did I overheat on the run or anything? No, I don't. just works for me. Might work for you. Cheers.